wait till this is finished. Okay. And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today I am bringing you more air fryer recipes. It's been a long time since I did an air fryer recipes video and lately I've been using my air fryer like crazy. It's been sitting on my counter. I mean not here but it's been sitting on my counter and thanks to that I've been literally using it like almost every single day because it's just such a convenient and wonderful appliance, okay? I'm a huge fan of the air fryer. I think it's one of the best inventions since the rice cooker, okay? So I have what is called like an air fryer oven. So it's kind of like an oven because there's like trays and stuff. There's two different kinds of air fryers. There's like the basket one and the oven one. Yeah, I have the oven one, but I feel like all the recipes that we're gonna make, you can make it using the basket one as well. So yeah, this is my air fryer. I don't know if this particular brand is still on the market, but I will leave some links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing an air fryer. They're pretty affordable in my opinion, and they are really seriously such a great appliance to have. I use it as a toaster. I use it for like frozen things that I can just like chuck in here and then it'll be ready in like five minutes. It's wonderful. So today, I just kind of want to experiment a little bit and try out a few different, you know, ways to use the air fryer. So if you guys want to watch that, then keep on watching. Let's get started. All right, my friends. So if I succeed in these recipes, I will have the recipes in a written blog post as always. So definitely check that out. That's going to be linked down below. Let's just jump in. Oh my God. Okay. So the first thing I want to try making is air fryer zucchini, but I want to kind of like coat it and make it nice and like crispy on the outside. Like I have a vision. Okay. So what we're going to do is first, um, I have some breadcrumbs. I actually just made these. I just toasted some bread and then I just threw it in the uh, food processor along with like some some salt and I added maybe a little bit of garlic powder. So yeah, I just like made my own little breadcrumbs. Fantastic, lovely. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create a batter, like a wet batter, and then I'm gonna dip it in the breadcrumbs and then hopefully it'll be delicious. So first things first, we've got flour, okay? So I have some flour here. I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some onion powder. And I should probably add some salt. And some salt, okay? And I'm just going to mix these. I hope this turns out. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna add some water. And again, mix it. And now we're gonna create that batter, okay? It's gonna be lovely. It's a bit wet. It's a bit liquidy. I was hoping it'd be a little bit thicker, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Make sure you get all that clumpiness. Now I'm just gonna dip. I'm gonna try to keep this hand dry, okay? We're gonna dip this in the batter and then throw it in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Is this gonna cook? Let's see, let's find out. <laughs> All right, a couple more. We're gonna do this with every piece. I did cut my zucchini up into like little discs. So far, I'm impressed with myself, but let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna batter all of these and then we'll stick it in the air fryer. And now we are ready to put it in the air fryer. Yay! I have no idea what temperature. I think I'm just gonna guesstimate as I always do. I feel like air fryers are very forgiving. You can just like, I don't know, play around with the temperature. Air fryers tend to be like stronger than an oven. I kind of see it as like a high power oven. So I just kind of like do a little less than I would in the oven maybe. So I'm gonna do 370 degrees Fahrenheit and let's start with like, oh, let's start with like 10 minutes or eight minutes. Let's start with eight minutes. All right, friends, so it's been eight minutes. Looks pretty good, but I don't know if it's cooked. Let me just give it a little try. Mm. Mm. I think it needs like a couple more minutes, so I'm just gonna stick it in for another like three minutes and then it might be done. But I'm gonna switch up the tray so that this one goes on top. Let's do another like three, four minutes and then I think we could be. All right, you guys, here we go. Here's my half eaten one, let's try this. Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm down. Hot little snack. You could even like make a dipping sauce for it. Like whatever kind of dipping sauce, I don't really know what, but I think it's great. Look at this, you guys. Great little snack, great little appetizer. You could probably do this with like pretty much every vegetable. Here we go. There you go, air fryer zucchini. I don't know what to call this. Zucchini fritters, air fryer zucchini. Fantastic, very simple, very easy, and delicious. That's how you make it. Let me just eat this piece. Mmm. All right, 
guys, we're gonna move on to the next recipe situation. Okay, so I kind of want to try making like spring rolls of some sort with kind of what I have. <laughs> okay, because once again, I'm unprepared. Okay, so I have some soy curls here. This is what I call like the soy curl crumbles. It's like the leftover soy curls at the bottom of the bag. Okay, they're basically dehydrated pieces of soy like meat basically. And all you have to do is just rehydrate it by soaking it in water. And then it's basically like vegan meat that you can just marinate and do whatever you want with it. So I have a bit that is already soaking. So I'm just going to drain this out. So we have the soy curls here. I'm just gonna set that aside. And then I wanna add in some veggies. So I have some celery. I'm just gonna like dice it up. I already have it like sliced thinly. I'm just gonna dice it into small pieces. And I'm also gonna add some carrots. I have, again, the carrots are julienne, so I'm just going to dice it. They don't have to be perfect. So, now what do we do? What do we do? Woo. Calm down. Ah! Okay, done. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of oil on a pan. Let's add woo, some uh, carrots. I'm also gonna add the celery. Okay, well, let's saute this a little bit first. Okay, I have minced garlic in a bag. Lovely. Some minced garlic. And I'm just gonna add in some diced mushroom. I think I'm just gonna chuck everything in, oh my god. And then the soy curls. Did I mention I'm weaning this, you guys? I don't really know what I'm doing. So I guess I can season it now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit of soy sauce. Mm, I'm gonna use some mirin, which is like a cooking wine. Ooh. Mix this a little bit, let that water just kind of evaporate. I feel like I should add a sweetener of some sort. Hmm. All right, let's cook this up. Yeah, most of the water has evaporated, but I gave it a little taste and I feel like I wanna add a little bit of rice vinegar. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like it's just gonna bring out more flavor. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but it is really tasty. So I'm happy with the, the taste. So, but just a little bit of rice vinegar. And then I think I need to just let it cook a little bit longer. But while we do that, I got myself some hot water or warm water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make spring rolls. Okay, I have rice paper. I'm using like a smaller one. So apparently these are 22 centimeters wide, okay? So I'm just gonna dip it in the warm water for a few seconds. Ooh. Let it become soft. I've never done this, you guys, so bear with me. I think this is, you know, it's good. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's add this mixture. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna roll it up. Uh, do I need two layers? <laughs> it's too hot, you guys. Okay, pro tip, let it cool down first. I mean, it worked, but I feel like we need to let this cool down. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of oil so that it doesn't stick. Like, you don't need a lot of oil. And then maybe another, like, spray there. There we go. And then throw it on the air fryer tray. Okay, so again, we wanna just whoop, spill things everywhere. All right, let's make our second spring roll. Hopefully it's cooled down a little bit. Not too much actually. Oh well, I'm impatient. So we're gonna make this one a little bit smaller, like less long, you know, I feel like it's safer that way. I don't know. I mean, you can even think of this as like a dumpling as well. Yeah, this is, you know what? Oh, look how cute. Ah, look. Ah, much better. You guys, make it smaller. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, now another spray. Glisten, glistening. More. Oh my God, look at this. Look how beautiful. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make the rest and then I will throw these in the air fryer. Okay. Right, you guys look at this i know i'm so proud of myself so they look pretty good in my opinion and hopefully they taste good so i'm just gonna throw it in the air fryer there we go i usually do like 370 i feel like 370 is like a it's like a safe number for me um let's do like 10 minutes sure all right let's check up on our spring rolls Ooh! oh my god you guys Oh, I'm sorry, but what 
You guys, okay, I, I think I need to let it cool down first, but I'm very excited. <gasps> Look how gorgeous, you guys. I am a chef. <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me let these cool down first and then we can eat it, yay! All right, I'm so excited to try. Oh, you guys, it kind of like, you know, burst a little bit, but that's okay. So I just made a really quick dipping sauce with a soy sauce and uh, rice vinegar. That's literally it. And then I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Kind of reminds me of like halfway between like a spring roll and like a dumpling. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, so last but not least, we're gonna make the third thing, and I really wanna try making banana chips, okay? You guys grew up eating banana chips? Why are banana chips so good, okay? I'm actually not a huge fan of banana. Like, I eat it for, like, sustenance, and I like it in smoothies and such, but I'm not like, ooh, banana. Like, I wanna eat a banana all the time. Like, no, okay? But banana chips, like, I can, I am down for banana chips. So, my idea is to just cut it really thinly, like, that's step number one. I don't know how thinly I should be cutting it, but. All right, thin banana slices. Let me eat this last little piece. All right, now I'm gonna add a little oil. Not too much. Oh, I feel like we don't need a lot at all. And then we're just gonna massage it nicely. Okay, very nice, lovely. Okay, and then maybe just like a little, like a tiny, tiny little bit of salt, I don't know. Just a tiny sprinkle, pinch of salt. You can add more if you want. And then let's just pop it on one of these, okay? Let's see how this goes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like I heard that dried fruit is like not good for you. Is that true? <laughs> Let me know, okay? Because I used to eat like banana chips like it was crack. And then people are like, oh my God, it's like not good for you. I don't know if this is true though. It's just banana. Like, can it be really like, it's just banana. Maybe it's bad because of the moisture content is lost, but I don't know. Here we go. All right. I have to wait till this is finished. Okay. you guys so let's throw these in the air fryer again i'm probably just gonna do or maybe i should do a little higher than i'll do 400 degrees because i want it really crispy 400 let's start with five minutes and then see what happens yay all right you guys let's check up on the banana chips okay i need all right let's have a look here what was that, five minutes? I'm gonna do another maybe, hmm. I feel like they're gonna harden like as you let them cool, but I do wanna do maybe an extra like three minutes, okay? Ooh, yay! Here are the banana chips. I feel like I need to let it like, you know, dry out more. Um, They're a little bit softer, but I feel like they get harder through time, but who knows, I'm not sure. Um, of course, you can keep it in the air fryer a little bit longer if you feel like they're a little bit soft. But yeah, let me, let me, let me give it a try. Hmm, maybe this one, this one looks crispy. Ooh. Mmm, wow, that's so good. It definitely reminds me of banana chips. I feel like when you cook it, when you air fry it, it like brings out the sweetness more. Mmm, I mean, yeah, I think they could be a little bit more crispy. So either you could like leave it in the air fryer a little bit longer, or maybe once they cool down a little bit more, they'll be um, more crispy, but I'm down for these, you guys. I am down for these. Success! So that was my air fryer recipes video. I hope you enjoyed. I think everything was a success. So all the written recipes will be linked down below. So don't forget to check that out. And of course, give me a little rating on the blog if you do enjoy the recipe. And if you guys want more vegan air fryer recipes, I actually do have an entire playlist on air fryer recipes. So I will link that down below. So you should definitely check that out as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.